بسم الله والحمد لله والصلاة والسلام على رسول الله وعلى آله وصحبه ومن وله All praise is due to Allah We praise Him We seek His help And we seek His forgiveness Dear viewers, may Allah protect you and preserve you all Now we as Muslims believe that there are minor signs To the day of resurrection And there are major signs Allow us to talk about the minor signs First of all, there's a beautiful hadith which the majority of Muslims are aware of, where Abdullah ibn Umar radiallahu ta'ala an, he said that my father, which is Umar radiallahu an, he told him about what happened with our beloved Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. He said, while we're sitting down, a man appears. He had beautiful white features, white face, and black hair. And he showed no sign of being a traveler. And none of us knew of him. Just imagine the Prophet Muhammad ﷺ was there and the Sahaba radiallahu ta'ala anhum. And this man appears and he's a stranger. No one knows. So he said, this man has said to Muhammad ﷺ, tell me about Islam. Islam. So Muhammad ﷺ explained. He said, Al-Islam, shahadat an la ilaha illallah wa anna Muhammad rasulullah. To bear witness that there is no God worthy of worship but one, and that Muhammad وسلم, is his slave and messenger, to perform pray, to pay zakat, to fast the month of Ramadan, and to perform pilgrimage when you are capable. And this shows you the beauty of Islam. And he said, Then this man has said to Muhammad, وسلم, You're right. Tell me about Iman. He said, Iman, to believe in Allah, to believe in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, and to minu billahi wa malaikati, to believe in Allah, and to believe in the angels, to believe in the books. To, do, to believe in the day of resurrection and to believe in the qadr, decree, the good and the bad. He said, you're right. He said, tell me about Ihsan. What is Ihsan? He said that you worship Allah as you see him. And if you don't see him, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala sees you. Subhanallah. And then he said to him, when is the hour? When is the day of judgment? He said, the one that you're asking knows no better than the one that he's asking. That means the Prophet has said, I don't know and you don't know either. So this ilm al ghaib the knowledge of the unknown, no one knows but Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. But yes, our beloved, beloved Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam has been informed by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala of many signs. But when exactly is it? No one knows but Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. There are so many signs, my dear respected viewers. Allow me to tell you some of them by the will of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Killing will become so common and people will be killed not knowing why. The spread of adultery, people will call upon adultery and people will engage in adultery openly. As you see on television, on the internet, things like that. There are clubs and places where people go there and when it cause they indulge in adultery and fornication. Also usury, usury where people deal in usury, it has become so common to an extent that if you're a pious Muslim, devoted Muslim, and you don't deal in usury, you've become stranger amongst Muslims. Also, nakedness. You find, you know, women, they are wearing clothing, but they are not wearing clothing. In other words, everything is exposed. You can see almost every part of the body. And Muhammad ﷺ has told us about this. Everything that I'm mentioning, the Prophet Muhammad ﷺ has mentioned. He said, He said, there'll come a time that on people that sees the actual years of betrayal, where the truthful, the person who's truthful will be belied, and the person who's a liar will be believed. Subhanallah. And the one that is trustworthy will be not trusted, and the one that is not trusted will be trusted. And he said, A person who is insignificant will speak and he will address the people. Like we see some, some people that 
obviously their, their, their level of knowledge is almost zero, for example. And they have no faith. But here they are, they're speaking and directing people to a certain ideology. Or they're trying to indoctrinate people into their ways. So Muhammad وسلم, is telling us that this will happen. Where people, subhanAllah, who are truthful, people won't believe in them. And people who are liars and they're known to be liars, people believe in them. And subhanAllah, we ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to protect us and save us. Also, one of the signs that people will gather. People will gather and they will attack the Muslims. As if they gather uh, to a table and they are extremely hungry. As we see at the moment with what's happening to our uh, brothers and sisters that are suffering uh, in many countries, especially now Syria, for example. We, you see the United Nations just observes and watches how thousands of people are getting slaughtered. And prior to that, the United Nations uh, were basically watching what's happening in, to Bosnia and how thousands of people have died there. And, and this continues on because maybe they are not human beings, according to the United Nations. Anyway, this is, this is also a sign that uh, our beloved Prophet Muhammad وسلم, has told us. Also, one of the signs is that men imitate women. Sometimes in, there are circumstances that you can't tell if this man is a woman or... And vice versa. A woman that imitates men. She actually looks exactly like a man. Subhanallah. So Muhammad وسلم, has warned us about these signs. And subhanAllah, it exists. Also, one of the signs is that... Uh, an actual, um, subhanAllah, a husband would listen to his wife and he will disrespect his mother. And my dear respected um, viewers, if you want prosperity in your life, be obedient to your parents. And always give preference to your mother and father over anyone else. If you want to feel a sense of prosperity and, and happiness, and you want that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala blesses you and your family, make sure that you respect your parents. Because Allah has said in Al Quran, "Fala taqul lahum uff." Don't even say to them uff. And Ali radiyallahu taala anhu has said, "If there's something less than uff, Allah subhanahu wa taala would have mentioned it in the Quran." So this is also one of the minor signs, where unfortunately you find that a young girl disrespects her mother, she disobeys her mother, and unfortunately people think it's this is a trend and this is cool, you know, because my friends do this, I do this. No, a person should have a strong personality. And they should not be influenced by evil. Yes, if they're influenced, to be influenced by the right people. For that reason, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has said, لَقَدْ كَانَ لَكُمْ فِي رَسُولِ اللَّهِ أُسْوَةً حَسَنًا Indeed, there has been for you a great example in the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. He's a great example. Yes, my dear respected brothers and sisters, take the, the, the prophets, take the companions, take, take the, the women companions of the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam as a role model, as an example. Why did Muhammad وسلم, tell us about these minor signs? So we can prepare ourselves. So we can prepare ourselves to depart from this life into another life. You see, we Muslims, we basically never die. We die on earth and then we live inside the grave. And then the, re the day of resurrection, either heaven or hell. So it's a pattern. You move from one area to another to another. But this short period of time, if you're righteous, alhamdulillah, you will attain a lot of reward. But if you disbelieve and transgress, it will be, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, it will be, you know, torture for you. So for that reason, for that reason, these minor signs, and they're almost, we've almost gone right through them all. There are so many. It's probably over a minor sign. And if you were to observe properly, you would see that we've almost reached them all. So this is a sign for us to prepare ourselves and to come closer to Allah, to observe our action just in case it could be today or tomorrow or next year. We ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to be of those that look closely at themselves and they fulfill what they've been created for. May Allah bless you all. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.